hey guys Rana here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can reactivate or renew your SSL certificate on Google Cloud platform that works with Bitnami version of WordPress this video is only for those people who watch my this video and install a SSL certificate on their website and your website is hosted on Google Cloud Platform. This SSL renew function works only with Bitnami version of WordPress. Keep in mind that, okay? If you don't want any error on your website, make sure you watch this video till the end. Don't skip any single part of the video in order to reactivate your SSL certificate properly. So let's get started and let's reactivate our SSL certificate on Google Cloud Platform. First of all, let me show you something. If I open up my website and if I open it, now you can see that there is no SSL certificate on my website because it expired now. I have to reactivate it. If this happens to you, and uh, then you can watch this video to solve your problem. First of all, open up my website, right? Open up this post. I will provide you a link of this post in the description box of this video first of all I'm going to separate these tabs so now I have Google Cloud Platform in the left side and my web post in the right side so first of all let's click on console go to cloud.google.com and then click on console and select your project where you have installed your website and then go to the navigation menu and then go to compute engine and then click on VM instance let's close this panel on this page click on SSH button alongside with your instance where you have installed your WordPress now I'm gonna click on SSH it will open separate window now I'm going to minimize my background window and I'm gonna put this window in the left side so now I have to work only inside this window and now go to my post in the right side and copy this code and come over to the left side paste that code and press enter and it will install SSL certificate for you guys and then come down over here now we have to copy that line of code and let's open up a notepad paste that and then go to edit replace I'm gonna replace with my website name and I'm gonna click on replace all cancel I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna copy it on this page I'm going to paste that line of code and I'm gonna click on enter now on my post scroll down copy this cert boot command this is a third command that we are going to copy keep in mind that in the left side let's paste that command and press enter and let's go to my post and scroll down and let's copy the fourth command and let's go to SSH window and paste the fourth command press enter and now scroll down on my web post now you can see that we have to copy this line of code and we have to paste this line of code over here if it does not there okay so in our case it is already there so we don't have to copy and paste now in the left side SSH window we have to close it by pressing ctrl X and press Y to yes and then finally press enter and let's copy this line of code this is a fifth line of code and paste on your SSH window to check your Bitnami configuration now in the left window we have Bitnami configuration if your Bitnami configuration is correct then you don't have to do anything over here if it does not correct then you can correct it just copy this line of code and paste over here okay don't forget to change your domain name guys so my bitnami configuration is correct so i'm gonna press ctrl x and then i'm gonna press y to save it and finally i'm gonna press enter to exit out now scroll down on my web post and copy this command and paste it next scroll down and now copy this line of code to check out your wp configuration let's go to your SSH window and paste that command and press enter now in this time make sure your WP configuration is correct so how you can check that press the down arrow key multiple time to go down 
stop till you see this line of code this line of code okay if this command already there then you can skip it just press ctrl x to exit it out and now scroll down on my web post and let's finally restart our apache server let's copy this line of code let's go back to your ssh window and paste this line of code and then press enter now our apache server has restarted now we can close this ssh window leave it now i'm going to close this one now i'm going to refresh my website to see how we install ssl certificate successfully on our website or not so let's refresh it so guys now you can see that we have successfully installed ssl certificate on our website and one important thing guys sometime what happen is ssl certificate may take some time to show up on your website if this happens to you in that case you may have to wait for a couple of minutes or maybe hours once you have it you are good to go and of course i'll provide you all the commands in the description box of this video that i use in this video if you still have any question or you're facing any error don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below i definitely answer your questions as quickly as possible so that's the pretty much it if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one so that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time